frenemies. Friends who become enemies. Look, son. I took these right here. You know what I'm saying? I took shots for this. You smell me? Know what I mean? If I get home and it's, it's problems within the set, so I'm like, what the fuck going on? By the time that 50 Cent shit came into play, that the, whatever was going on between me and Ken was already going on, I couldn't really worry about what, what people was thinking at that point because I got a career to worry about. And if nobody else is going to worry about my career, I am. So the moves I make uh, are the moves I make, whether niggas like it or not. Is it that bad? I mean, could y'all have a conversation? Oh, it, was, it, it was never bad. It was just... Yeah, you know, it gets a little deep at times, but it was never no hate or nothing. It's always love. Like, I grew up with that man. Like, we grew up like brothers amongst anything else. But for the most part, you know, I ain't seen him. I, I don't know where he be at, so I went to ask a couple questions and things like that. But it seems like I was I was being avoided on purpose for whatever that reason may be. You know what I mean? But it's a little heart touching. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching this shit happen. I'm supposed to be an OG. I can't stop this shit. This shit is killing me. You know what I'm saying? This shit is happening on my watch. And you know why? Because it's not but so much I could say because it happened between me and homeboy. Let's say Jay and I worked out our differences and I was able to prevent all that from happening. I could say, look, I did it, but I can't even say that now. Seen every group break up. I don't think one really affected me as much as Dipset not moving together. We gotta credit everything to the diplomats and to the hard work and to the sleepless nights to everything that we done and shit like that. Cam was always Cam. You know what I mean? It took us to make a diplomat. So when you see us, you see the diplomats. When you see me, Jim, and Zeke, you know what I mean? If Cam happened not to be there, that's the diplomats right there. You lose friends. How many friends you lost since you since you was born? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How much bad can do people think I can say about Cam? I mean, you know, some people got their fucked up ways and shit like that. I think I told him a long time ago that this was part of the plan. That there was gonna be a separation for some reason and we wouldn't know what it would be. But I also told him that it was meant for us to get back together. That was also part of the plan. Deep down inside, I was waiting for the get back. I saw what he was doing for Cam, and I knew if you did it for him, you can do for yourself even better. It was uncomfortable for him to come from a position of being on the supporting end, the support system, to be in the front man. It was uncomfortable for him. This is it. Do you. You have to do you. You was the backbone. You did what you did for him. Now do you. Go get yours. Go get yours, boo. Go get yours. I'm very proud of Jimmy. And it's my honor to be able to introduce Jimmy to oh, introducing his crew. Mm. Jones, yeah. Jones, thank you very much. Jones, <laughs> nigga. This is Burger Gang. This is everything that I thought it should be. When you when you have a business with a partner, you got to come to a medium to make decisions. With this one, it was all my my thoughts and all the things I wanted to do. And these niggas rap way better than I do. My talent is hustling. All of us is going hard. Win, lose, or draw. Like, we got nothing to lose and everything to gain. It's an honor for me to be here. No, we died. Sort of a little emotional. I love Capo. Capo took a risk on a nigga, gave a nigga a chance. There was a reason why I couldn't, but I, I made a mistake. I, I'm big enough to My say bad. that. <laughs> My bad. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike no chick. He's very famous. He's He's got all type of accolades. He's got Grammys under his belt. I know him for damn near could do everything that you've seen. He's Imagine when it comes to music. Right. He's like right. idiot savant when it comes to this music. <laughs> My name's Shane, man. A.K.A. <laughs> the Bird Game Rider. My name is Ashi, the R&B King of Harlem. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's your name. Game, baby. Freak is an angel, y'all. Y'all might have seen him on covers and news, all type, but he's he's blessed to be here. He's back with us. 
Like I said, it's always diplomats for life. That's what God has said. We just blessed to be able to keep going on and keep moving on and doing new endeavors and getting new money and getting bird gang money and getting yeah. 730 money. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Money. We used to get third grade money. <laughs> like we've been in this. We, me, me and Zeke was getting third grade money for real. Put the bird gang album out. Check. Shoot a video for bird gang album. Check. Shoot a movie for bird gang album. Check. Three months. Check. Small day. Freaking exactly. There's a, it's a lot of other things going on today, but one thing for sure. What is two it? things for certain? Uh -huh. Three things to get your head bust open. We mobbing. You yeah, dig? We doing a Bird Gang album release party. This is my first time like really being on like an album that was in stores. You know what I'm saying? So it feels good. They show me and Jimmy is more than music. I just started off on some teenage shit. Like, you know, moving together, though we had to do to survive in the street. We went through trials and tribulations to make this record, like losing stacks and then I think each each and every one of us went to jail at one point or another doing the albums, you know what I'm saying, creation. You know, sky's the limit when you when you get a chance to do something legal and you can prosper from it in all different type of ways, but I'm all in, man, I'm Marvin. Jim Jones from Harlem. I wanted to meet this young rapper. I have a lot of respect for the rappers who come off the street with a certain, not just street credibility, but with a certain reality. We ended up building a hell of a rapport that kind of started my conventional way of giving back to the hood. We were preparing for the Houston Hip Hop Summit. You are the most important generation and the most powerful generation this country has ever seen. When you do get to that point where people are listening to you, it's cool to do the right thing. So you have to make sure that you lead by example. I wouldn't ask y'all to do nothing that I wouldn't do myself. When the percentile get, get real close on so making that decision of who goes up in that office, we got that. We the minority, but we really the majority. So hip-hop's on the rise, you heard? 